Hi folks, this is Tristan for Noisegate here taking a first look at Atari's new effects collection 2 and I want to focus primarily on this plugin here, Bus Force, because as you can see it's a bit of a beast, so there's a lot going on here, but it's actually very simple to use once you got your head around the architecture. So we have these four different modules, we have EQ, Filter, Compressor and Saturation, and you can turn them on and off globally like this, however it's called a parallel processor because we have these three discrete signal paths here, so you can turn modules on and off per signal path. For example, the dry path can either be completely dry or you can bring in the EQ and you can see the visual kind of signal path updated here. Uh, the compressor path always has a compressor but you can bring in and out the filter and the EQ and the saturation path can either be just saturation or you can bring in and out the other three modules. So really powerful and all the modules sound really good. So it's great being able to do this all from the one plugin. You can actually do pretty complicated routings without juggling different plugins and different door routings and so forth. So really cool. So I've just got on the bass track with a sidechain signal coming from the kick and the snare. So I'm just going to hit play and just balance the three different signal paths and play around the parameters a bit until it sounds the way I want it. So yeah, let's check it out. Here's the dry signal here. And here's the compressor signal. Okay. And here's the saturation signal. Yeah, really nice crunchy natural sounding overdrive. But it's nice to subtly blend it in there with the compressed signal. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's listen to it on a different group of tracks. I've got this synthesizer group here. I've got bust to this one group. So uh, let's check it out with a few more instruments. There's just the dry signal. There's a the compressor. See, we can turn the filter on just the saturation path so it doesn't sort of muddy up the bottom end. And then we can blend in with the dry signals and sort of anchor it all so it's not really over the top. So that's Bus Force. I also want to quickly talk about the other two plugins as well. I have the EQ Citra, I think that's pronounced right, here on the uh, Kick and Snare. I got pretty lazy. I just found a preset called Kick Enhancer, which sounded pretty good. So here's the Kick and the Snare without the EQ. But now I can just say Enhance. And here it is with the EQ. Okay, to me that sounds a lot nicer, that's a lot rounder, it's a really nice, really musical sounding EQ. And I do actually have that on the Master Bus as well, I found this cool kind of bass boosting setting. And I also have the new Comp Diode 609, which is a really cool, nice crunchy sounding stereo compressor on the output. With this uh, dry wet control, so you can still do parallel processing with this guy as well, so let's check that out again on the mix. Nice, so that's a really flexible, really cool bunch of plugins, all part of the new FX Collection 2 bundle. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Leave any comments down below and stay tuned for more videos coming soon.